Hey Saber fans, this is Adam from Blue Force Sabres. Welcome back. So I have a finished commission here. So this is a Sith slash Jedi inspired commission. As you can see, it has a very Sith design to it. We have the Jedi symbol down here. Uh, the customer liked the Sauron Saber I did. And he liked this, this top portion of the Sauron Saber where it, it kind of jetted out on top. So I wanted to incorporate that in there. A um, little bit, he wanted some weathering on the leather. And the one I used on the God of War, I really liked it. But I did some weathering with that as well. He wanted a Jedi symbol, so that's in there. But pretty much everything kind of was else was left up to me. Um, so originally with the design, he wanted a uh, kind of like a melted, maybe burned uh, emitter section. So when I was designing it, it just wasn't coming out and looking right. So I figured, well, let's let's print it, and then I'll take a Dremel to it and go into all these little grooves and stuff like that, and see if we can we can damage it up and weather it a little bit more. Um, and then I figured with the paint job too, that I'd be able to maybe get more of a burn look to it. And I think I was pretty successful with it. So let's go over a couple of the details with it. So inside is just a basic soundboard, uh, twelve millimeter. Uh, red illuminated switch, 2.1 millimeter uh, recharge port, 24 millimeter bass speaker. Sounds super loud with this board. A couple of swings, clash, lockup. You have a uh, full RGB uh, with the LED, so you can switch to all the colors. I've used this board in the past, but I haven't used it in a while. Um, and then also you have access to the battery. Um, if you wanted to switch that out, but you have the recharge port, so it makes it pretty convenient. And then with a black kill key. So let's go over the details of uh, the Sabre here. So as I was saying too, I was trying to go with a a really damaged look with uh, the whole entire design of the Sabre, but especially more in the emitter area. So this is the design. You can see it's the 3D print around the one inch steel core. And it really kind of jets out over top here, probably about an inch and a half maybe. So you get this really cool shine through when the blade's inserted. So there's a couple of different layers of paint with this. Initially painted all flat black. Um, and then it's a, uh, a silver over top of it. And then I said I went back in and then did all this dremeling to give this cracked effect in all these areas. And then you can see here with the black wash, um, I did it extremely heavy on this one. Actually, a lot more than I have in the past. Let it dry a little bit more, and then it when you know you pick it up and you kind of you brush it off. It really gave this cool effect of it almost looked like it's it's charred and burned here a little bit. You can see a little bit here in the gold area where it's painted, but I think it really came out great. Uh, a tension screw for the blade. LED is hidden underneath the retention screw for that. We got some gold here, some gold down here as well. And then with the switch section, but this came out really neat too because you have all these cutouts, so you see more of the uh, the chrome kind of shining through. Ton of details, curves down here. Bunch of rings, just more designs, a little bit of etching on the back, you can see with the reflection there, a little bit of lightning etching there, some more gold painted, all these rings are painted gold as well, and you got this uh, whole bunch of weathering here in between all these grooves. And then down to the, the leather, so this is the leather I used actually on the God of War Saber, but it's much more uh, weathered out. Um, this, is, this is fantastic, super soft leather, but then I went back in, and you probably can't even see it on camera here, I wish you could, but I went back in and, and damaged up the, the leather even more, and then went back again, and then brushed it and made it even darker. So you wanted more of like a two-tone. So you can see up here at the top, it's a little bit darker, a little bit blacker. 
and then it, it fades back into like a, a dark brown down towards the base. It really came out great. Like I said, it's super soft leather, so it feels great in the hand. Down to the pommel here. So you have the Jedi symbol. And then more dremeling. Create these uh, damaged effects. There's a retention screw underneath the pommel here that locks the chassis in place. Down to the sound port. More dremeling down there as well. So overall, super cool design. I think it's really different than a couple of the, the a lot of the other sabers I've made. Um, so this is a this is really truly unique. So it's just fired up here real fast. Maybe your blaster sounds. Lock up. Switch through the colors. Now with the, the chassis being locked in there, you actually have to give it a pretty good hit. There we go. It's really locked in place, so it takes a pretty good, decent hit. Uh, when you have a blade in here, it actually gives it better vibration for the, the clash, but... You have a couple different sound fonts. You have three sound fonts and a mute with this board. Hold down the button. Do one more here. So there you go. Really love the way the Sabre came out. Super happy with it. Uh, I know the customers probably going to love it as well. Um, overall design, just uh, I think it came out fantastic with this. And a couple different things with the paint job on this I've never tried before. So I'd have to uh, really thank uh, the customer for, for, you know, tell me what he wanted and give me the opportunity to test a couple different paint styles here. Um, so as always leave a comment down there. I'd love to hear from you guys and any ideas you have Always love to hear it. So take care and God bless